Hello there y'all, welcome to your reading. Guys, I'm still working on my Etsy, so be, bear with me. <clears throat> Don't worry, I'll communicate the date. The date, like it's a launch or something. No, it's not that serious, I'll communicate it when everything is uploaded and set to go. Um, <clears throat> that's why you should subscribe. Also, what else? Like I said, I'm gonna be doing a series. I said I was gonna do it since the 5th, but I haven't gotten to it. But it's gonna be a series this whole month of December since we're ending the year of like daily drama kind of energy. And it's random reading where I'm gonna pick up the energy of somebody's situation or whatever spirit wants to bring down. And we know how like intuition works and divine timing. Um, it's just a random reading, but I'm sure the people that need it will find it. And it's just something I'm trying. It's called the daily drama. It doesn't have to always be drama. But I feel like the first one, I got the down one, it's about union, divine union. So um, I think you want to be there for that. If you are looking for divine union, or if you met someone new and you think it's the one, tune into that. So now let's go into your reading, Leo. So the downloads for you, I feel like you're getting revitalized. Because revitalized. if I remember your old, your old reading, your last reading was a little bit about feeling down getting um having difficulty to adjust the change of the weather i mean you know us summer babies i say us because i'm cancer so we kick off summer um and you guys leo you're the sun so you're we're summer signs yeah transition the transition is kind of like ooh, but it all depends on a personal level because i love autumn my favorite are the transitional seasons i love autumn and i love spring so, because, you know, the weather's not like boom in your face, too cold, too hot. It's just like a transition. I love that easing into it. So I feel like you've been doing that this past November. And November was especially tough for everyone because it was Scorpio season. You know, and Venus was there. Mercury, it was like putting stuff in our face about, you know, how we treat ourselves and what we put up with. Like the traits that puts us, that put us in situations, relationships where we're repeating cycles, repeating karma, you know? So Scorpio's always a tough season, always. And uh, so I feel like you've been struggling. But I feel like you're getting back your momentum. You're getting back vitality and optimism. So one thing I want to say, uh, Leo, is don't waste it. Harness that. You're not going to need it even more when we hit the winter solstice you know when it's actually winter although it already feels like it but today is very sunny it's been so gray at night it's freezing like there's actually frost here so i'm sure it's gonna rain i mean it's gonna um, snow pretty soon so for you leo that's what was going on how can i break it down because i saw something a little bit more specific like you could have been irritable in november <clears throat> like i said because you just felt doom and gloom. Everything, it was just foggy, you know. It's that transition. And now, there's optimism. So, therefore, there's a, there's a invigoration. There's a regeneration. Optimism, like I said. So, it's like making the best out of nothing kind of energy. You're like, okay, so I'm not going to sit in this. How can I make, you know, this work for me? I think that's what the, the realization you're coming into. And I think it's the Jupiter and Aries, your fellow fire sign. And we are in Sag. So your two fellow fire signs are kind of like giving you that surge of fire. I call it familiar fires, you know, finally familiarity. Something that I can recognize and that reassures me kind of energy. You know, Jupiter and Aries, you know, guys, so that's like your ninth house. So it's like the vision is changing. It's the optimism and making the best out of what you have and seeing it grow, actually seeing it take you places, seeing it actually change your mood, your, your environment, because you change your mindset, right? Um, it starts with you, really. That's like your inner world creates your outer world. Then Sagittarius, of course, that's your, you know, like your, your sixth house of health and balance, mental and physical balance. Um, 
I thought, sorry, that's not your sixth, it's your fifth. Pluto in Capricorn. Capricorn is your sixth. So you see changing the narrative, changing the game, changing the way you approach things. Pluto and Capricorn, your, your, fifth, your sixth. Um, establishing a routine that works for you. Like making sure you have moments for yourself, for your kids, or like pleasurable moments, or moments where you feel good because you guys you know you represent the child you're kind of this like imaginative hopeful energy you like to go and like run around and you know maybe if it's winter where you are it's a little bit cold over there maybe there's snow that could be fun too snow could be fun you could do snow angels i'm sure some of you in november you're like Ugh, now you're getting into this christmas spirit slowly but surely that could be something you could do excuse me too is like get a tree start decorating where are your Christmas decorations? You know, go get some new ones and then buy yourself a gift as well, okay? So like I was saying, your fifth house is Sagittarius, which is your energy. You are the fifth house. Uh, your fifth house energy, which is the sun. And again, that, that, that imaginative, playful energy. You know, it's Sagittarius. Sagittarius are very goofy too. You have Mercury and Venus there as well. Um, they're entering on the, like, I think, Venus is already there. One of them is entering two days before, but by the night, they're both in Sagittarius um, with the sun. So, yeah, it's like love. Finding little things, little trinkets, little things that just give you this joy, you know? It's like really, really holding on to that. It's hopefulness. It's optimism. Like deciding to be optimistic because it was pretty dire and dark in November for you. So things are looking brighter for Leo. Okay, <clears throat> which is the energy you represent? Brightness, happiness, joy, fun. Okay, let's get into the oracles. These are the crystal reading cards by Rachel Charman. As you can see, my first deck ever. Let's get into it, Leo. You're the last sign. I did pretty good, though. We're the seventh, and I already finished all 12 signs. So then I could do my daily um random read i'm gonna probably do five of them it's just gonna be for the month of december for now and then we'll see Ooh, i think it's yes joy music yep some of you are working on your music some of you are listening more to music some of you the advice is to listen up to listen to music because you know music is a vibration so it kind of is the vibration of love or joy you know, that's why we meditate with some music. That's why you have the sound bowls. Music is a vibration that you can tap into that brings optimism, that kind of brings um, an awareness. So this is playful energy. Spirit Quartz, beautiful crystal too. It's a very lovely crystal. I have one. It's over there though. Um, music, that's playfulness, right? Yes, it's like things are starting to look brighter. Things are starting to synchronize. You're seeing it because your mindset is changing, right? Um, which is, you know, that Jupiter energy in Aries, which is your ninth house. And Jupiter rules the ninth house. And you know Aries is the first house. So it's you. You're, you, how, how do you approach things? Like you are understanding that, okay, I'm a hopeful person. I'm very, you know, tapped into the joy energy, the playfulness energy. So I shouldn't let myself be sucked down by what's going on around me. And, you know, if you start looking at the, new, the news and all that stuff, that's not helping either. So make sure you turn off the TV sometime and, 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 um, Choose music rather, like sound, not not visual, but sound, but not listening to the news on the radio either. <laughs> you know what I mean? But music, just like it says, just like it says. Healthy body, take care of your body. Remember, I told you guys, um, Capricorn is your sixth house, and Pluto's there. So you, there's something you're changing. You, you you're like, okay, enough. I want to bring positivity in in my in my life, or at least it's coming to you. This is a realization that's coming. What I want to say is like bright things are looking bright, brighter. Okay, things are looking brighter. Um, optimism is returning, and it's it's just this click in your mind that creates it. 
Okay. All right, let's get into the tarot. Shuffle. Guys, don't mind my nails. <laughs> I'm going to be doing them next week. This weekend, actually. Got some beautiful press on nails from, from Glamour Made. But you know what? They're the pre done ones, so I feel like their nails are too thick. And, and on the other hand, and then once I put them on, if I start, like, I use gloves to wash my hands because they say don't put it in hot water. Especially when you shower and everything. I feel like they break too easily. For what they cost, too. You know, some of them are 14 bucks. And then they give you, like I said, there are 20 of them, but they're only two thumbs. Two, you know what I mean? They don't have, like, various... And, 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 and on, the other, on the other hand, literally, um... This here I bought from Amazon. These are amazing. They come in a hundred. Okay. So you know that you're going to find, you have like five thumbs, you know, even 10, 10 thumbs, 10. There you go. You have 10 thumbs, 10 um, indexes, 10 of each, and it's a hundred. I don't know. Make it make sense. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> so those I feel, and they're cheaper. Of course, they're a hundred and they're good quality. The other ones would just like, like I said, unglue themselves after three days and then they would do this weird thing where they're just like split in the middle because they're long they're coffin they're like this these though i could stay two weeks and they won't even come off and i'm not even using gloves guys to do the dishes so yeah glamour made was fun <laughs> it was fun i got three four sets and one was a g gifted how it cost me money though it was like 69 bucks i'm not kidding okay See that energy again is coming back, Leo. Page of Wands. That's you. A different approach. A health, not a healthier, uh, 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 more optimistic approach. You see, that's you. Page of Wands. I love that. Things are looking very bright for you, my dear. Things are about to really look up. See that? Brand new energy coming in. It's a revitalization. <clears throat> you know, pages are like beginnings. And then healthy body. So it's like a revitalization. Even physically, you're feeling it. It starts with the mental. Mm -hmm. Playfulness, you know? Music in the page. You're finding playfulness again. <clears throat> Eight of Wands reverse oh, again, fire, Jupiter energy. The Wands are Jupiter because it's a, a lot. It's expansion. <clears throat> so it's like... Let me look at these cards. You know, this is learning to the Eight of... Uh, and Jupiter is the, the... You know, it's Sag is about learning and teaching. And then this is about messages, information. But it's reversed. So something is halted as to um, receptivity coming towards you. Either you're not receiving something or somebody's not answering your call, your message. <clears throat> Maybe that's what kept you um, in that mood, in that darkness, in that gloomy, you know, kind of energy. Because you do have the page, again, of swords in the bottom. So, yeah, something about a message or somebody reaching out. See, you have the two pages and you have the eight of wands. You are definitely the wands, so uh, page of wands. And this person is air, page of swords, doesn't have to be. And there's a miscommunication, there's a blockage here. There's, there's, you just can't seem to get one, uh, one another on the phone. Or there's interference. Things are not smooth. You see? I don't know what that's about. Let's keep going. Could be also something you want to do and you don't know yet because you have to do some research. 
because you're this is a creative uh energy and this is like an intellectual energy so it's like you're starting something you want to learn something but there's something you're not figuring out or you don't know you need more information <clears throat> that could be it too So you're very in a curious, very curious state right now. It's optimism, curiosity. Just feeling you like you again, you know? Endless possibilities, making these possibilities appear out of thin air because you believe, because that's what you see. You know? If you believe everything is shit, it's going to be shit. If you believe that everything is possible, it's going to be possible. Talking about if you believe everything is shit. Five pentacles. Left in the cold. This is illusion, because they could go into church. There's help there. But no, victim mentality. I think this was just emphasizing what I was just saying just now. If you think everything is shit, it's going to be shit. <laughs> if that's your initial thought, page of swords, it's going to be shit. So, I feel like it's almost like you moved from this energy to this one now, and now this is you. You reborn to be the page of wands optimistic, creative, um, excited again. Whereas before everything was like, see how these two cards are just cold and gray? You see? Look at this. <coughs> Things are about to look much brighter for you. Sorry, I just coughed. My son gave me his cough. Things are about to look brighter, my dear Leo. I love that the page of wands was the first card because that's like initial that's like announcing the new energy coming in for you you know it's a shift of perspective yeah she looks sick you know she she's definitely depressed she's definitely gloomy she's definitely like there's no hope victim i'm screwed i'm on do you know, and uh, with the page of swords, I feel like it's just that that's that mind shift. It starts with your mind and then it gets into your physical body and it starts manifesting like that. And then you just start seeing things look brighter. Like I said, if you think everything is shit, it's going to be shit. It will look like shit. If it looks like shit inside, it is shit outside. We'll make our own reality. I know, life is tough sometimes. We don't decide that, you know, we want to be like here and not be able to pay our rent and shit. No, I'm not saying that. But why though? Why is this happening? You see what I'm saying? A why? There's a why to everything. That's what I want to say. There is a why to everything. See the shift in cycle, wheel of fortune. Yeah, I want to put that in the middle. That's it. Actually, I want to put it here. Like I said, it's almost like this is your first card and everything here is just showing what was going on. Feeling stuck. Not being able to move forward. Uh, feeling alone. You know, I isolating yourself. This is isolation here. This um, Eight of Pentacles, I'm sorry, Eight of Wands reversed and the Five Pentacles. It's like isolation. You know, Eight of Pentacles, like no messages, blocking messages, actually turning your phone off, not even looking at your messages, not wanting communication. Feeling like nobody's actually cares about you. Nobody's like checking on up on you, right? With the page, actually, yeah, too, which is messages also, internet. So that's what it was, you know, and then you switched it up. And you switched it up beautifully. And you took matters in your own hands. And you're like, you know what? And I have the wand. Why am I looking for the wand any, everywhere else? I have the wand. I am the wand. And you are, Leo. You're fire, too. He has his wand and he knows what to do with it. It's like, hmm, hmm, what can I get into? <laughs> you see? It's amazing energy, right? Things are about to look really bright, my dear. Look at this. Things are about to look really, really bright for you. Leo, see that? Amazing energy. Okay, I feel like we're done. Let's see what's in the bottom of the deck. And then we'll get an oracle. So change, beautiful change. Getting out of stagnation. 
okay? Reclaiming your power. Do you see that? Getting out of stagnation, reclaiming your power. You turning your, shifting your reality. You're shifting your reality. Okay? You have that power to shift your reality. We all do. It's hard though. We forget. And we get into five pentacles. We get into crazy stuff. We get into five of cups energy. It's actually right here in the bottom of the deck. That's what we do. So you have two. I'm going to just take that. So you have two fives here. Five of cups. See? Sorry. Oh, it's a page again. Why did I see it as a five? You got three pages. New beginnings. Shifting your reality. See that? An energetic shift. Expect an energetic shift. A positive one, needless to say. Page of Cups. All pages are here. You have the three pages. Page of Cups. The only one left, uh, missing is the Page of Pentacles. So you got the Page of Cups. Page of Wands and the Page of Swords. These pages are almost a magician. So what is the one missing? The grounding one. The Page of Pentacles. The magician is all pages. He's all. He's everything. But, you know, it's Aries energy. So it could be the first house. So it's like, you know, Aries is a baby energy. Because you know? it's the first house. It's like the birth of the Zodiac Wheel. Right? So, you're on your way to becoming the master here. Because there's some kind of secret you discovered of a mechanism that just shifts your reality. It's like a secret. And I think the one that you discovered, that tool, is the groundingness. The, the, the groundness. Like that when you can't just let your, your mind, you know, go crazy. That you, we have to analyze What's going on? We have to step, take steps back away from the noise, from social media. Eight of Wands could be that. And, and analyze, not analyze, but just like sit still, hang man, and, and observe. Sometimes you got to be observers. That's Page of Pentacles energy too. The Page of Pentacles is really into details. Virgo energy, it's Cap energy, right? Taurus too, but it's mostly Virgo energy. That Page of Pentacles, I feel. You're starting something, you know, it's like, I'm, I'm going to look at everything. I'm not rushing. It's very meticulous. It's very patient, observant. And you have here, this one's eager to learn. This one's very, very like in touch with its emotions. So intuition, like feels. And then the page of wands is like very like creative, has its like visual like powers or stuff. So you got all four. I feel like the one you're coming into right now is the page of pentacles. The ability to shift your reality, like I said. Pentacles are about reality. It's like, you know, the 3D. You're shifting your reality. Some beautiful energy. Okay, last but not least. See? Death in the Queen of Cups, shifting your reality. What else? Last card for Leo. I think my battery's about to die too. So let me hurry up. You're cleaning it up. The card cleaning it up from this deck, which is the Wisdom Oracle, keeps coming up for everyone, especially when I was in November, you know, when I was still doing the December readings, but we were still in the Scorpio energy. It was crazy. Clean it up came like for everyone. I think that's what Scorpio season, uh, we could attach that to Scorpio season, you know? Cleaning it up. Um, brutal realities. <laughs> and deep healing. I don't know, guys. Harsh truths. Ooh. Okay, 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 okay. That's a lot of cards. 
So you see, here and now, the five two. Shifting your reality, creating your world, here and now. See, I'm going to shift my reality, like I said, here and now. Beautiful. Poise, that's that page of pentacles, right? And then here you have mending. Some of you, this involves another person. Could be, like I was telling you before, maybe you're waiting on a message, some, some, something about a communication. Remember when the two pages were here and you had the eight of wands? Like this thing here, something, you know. This could be the mending too. Some of you, like, you, you fell out with someone. You guys blocked each other. Could be. Um, this is, you're mending it. So that's a good news, you know. That's good news. I don't think you doubted it. I just think you you had other things on your plate, but you knew that this, you know, you'll get through this with this person, whomever this person is. So spirit is just confirming that. Mending. You're, you're going to be able to mend this. Maybe this is also what's giving you, maybe it was weighing on your heart a, a lot because you really are close to this person. You felt left alone and, 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 and misunderstood, rather, you know, left in the cold. Because you're really used to the person's energy. They kind of like fuel for you. Vice versa. You know, you guys were on a halt. No communication. Eight of Wands reversed. With the Page of Swords here. No communication. This could be the root of all this like stuff here. I kept talking about that you feeling like drained and not motivated and gloomy. Some of you really has to do with this person. And now you guys are like mending. It could be a childhood friend. Now, it's giving me six of cups energy so now you guys are mending all this and um it just re-energizes you it's fun you, you this person is important for you you know and that's cool that's cool uh remember like i said guys do not waste this energy that you just gained back that just like this familiar fire that's coming to you don't waste it harness it harness it that's why you need to be poised you need to be calm and grounded see that's the page of pentacles you have all the pages, swords, wands, cups. This is what we're missing. <sighs> Groundness. Pentacle energy. Right? Okay, so very exciting reading. I love this. And um, guys, I'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe. Have a lovely Wednesday. Bye-bye.